Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is a guide to Psalm All. This dungeon was modified in patch 6.2, and this guide has been updated to include these changes. Please like and subscribe, I'm releasing guides for every story dungeon and trial in the game, so you always know what's coming. Let's get started. Before the first boss, it's worth mentioning that in some trash pulls along the way, these drake spurs should be burned down fast as they will endlessly spawn explosive plants. The first boss is Raskovnik. He often casts Acid Rain, which puts a circular AoE marker on every player. Just move out of them quickly before the goop hits. He will also cast Sweet Scent, which causes hornets to spawn and fly into him. The hornets deal no damage, they just buff the boss's damage output when they reach him. Players can kill the hornets to prevent this, but alternatively this can be ignored because it's not that bad. Flower Devour is an ability where he will put a large orange swirly marker over a player for a few seconds. After this, they'll be sucked in and stunned for two seconds. As soon as the stun is over, simply run away from the boss as he'll have a circular AoE marker around him. Occasionally he will cast Spit, which does moderate, unavoidable damage to everyone. Just heal through it. After the first boss, you'll come to a room with some fire drakes, then a room with some ice drakes. In the room with the ice drakes, I recommend destroying the ice boulders quickly as they spawn lots of small adds that can make the overall trash difficult. The second boss is Mayath. He usually starts with Razor Scales, a basic conal AoE that players simply step out of to avoid. He does a cast called Primordial Roar, which does unavoidable damage to everyone and spawns a few orange and blue slimes. These slimes don't do anything at this point and can be ignored. After some time, he will grab a slime with his tail and cast Mad Dash. This will either put a purple marker or a stack marker on a random player. If it's the purple marker, the marked player needs to get away from everyone else and they will be hit with moderate damage. If it's the stack marker, all players should stack to spread the damage. The slimes can be killed to prevent all this, but as long as players stack for the orange markers they will be fine, and DPS wasted on slimes that could have been on the boss makes it not worth it. The second time the boss casts Primordial Roar, however, a large slime called Chime of the Mountain will spawn, and this needs to be destroyed ASAP. This is because it will cast The Last Song, which deals high damage to everyone, potentially fatal, so you want the slime killed before the cast finishes. After the second boss, you'll come to a room with both the fire drakes and the ice drakes at the same time. Again, I recommend taking out ice boulders quickly. The final boss is Tiaman. The tank should face her away from the group so other players aren't hit by her conal attacks. She will frequently cast Chaos Blast, which puts circular AoEs on every player and crossing lines all over the arena. Just move quickly and you'll be fine. Comet will mark two players with comets over their heads. They should move to the edge of the arena until the marker is gone. This will put a pulsing proximity marker on the floor showing where the comet is going to hit. This is one where the further you get from the center of the marker, the less damage it does. So all players should try and be far away from where the pulses originate. At 50% health, you'll be in phase two where the boss becomes invincible, but you can attack her wings. Players should focus down one wing at a time. During phase two, she'll also cast Heaven's Fall where random players will have an orange comet over their head, then will be hit with unavoidable damage. The damage is followed by a cluster of quick AoEs, so marked players need to run away from everyone else. Dark Star is another phase two cast. This deals unavoidable damage to everyone, so just heal through it. Once both wings are destroyed, she returns to phase 1 until killed. And that's it for Psalm All, updated for patch 6.2. Have fun, and see you next time.